The Good Egg Oh, hello. I was just rescuing this cat. Know why? Because I'm a good egg. A very good egg. It's true. I do all kinds of good things. Like, I'll carry your groceries. I'll water your plants. I'll change your tires. I'll paint your house. If you need any help whatsoever, I'm your egg. I've always been a good egg. It's been this way from the start, even in my earliest days, back at the store. There were a dozen of us living together under one recycled roof. There was Meg and Peg and Greg and Clegg and Shell and Shelley and Sheldon and Shelby and Egbert and Frank and other Frank. The other 11 eggs weren't on their best behavior. They weren't exactly good. They ignored their bedtime. They only ate sugary cereal. They threw tantrums. They cried for no reason. They broke their stuff on purpose. Meanwhile, I tried to take charge. I tried to fix their bad behavior. I tried to keep the peace because I was a good egg. A very good egg. Nobody seemed to care though. Every night, I was exhausted. My head felt scrambled. Then, one fateful morning, I noticed some cracks in my shell. They were everywhere. My doctor said it was from all the pressure I was putting on myself. The pressure of making sure everybody was as good as me. I was cracking up, literally. Something had to change. I'd had enough. I told Meg and Peg and Greg and Clegg and Shell and Shelly and Sheldon and Shelby and Egbert and Frank and other Frank that I was leaving. I can't be the only good egg in a bad carton, I said. Blah, blah, blah. They replied, I left her that night. I wandered from town to town. The hours became days, the days became weeks. I lost track of time. I was alone. Out there, on the road, under the stars, I really tried to focus on myself and what I needed. I took walks. I read books, I floated in the river, I wrote in my journal, I found simple moments to be quiet. I breathed in, I breathed out, I even started painting. For once, I found time for me. And guess what? Little by little, the cracks in my shell started to heal. My head no longer felt scrambled. I started to feel like myself again. So I've made a big decision. I'm returning to my old carton and my friends. Besides, I'm kind of lonely out here. This time, I know what I need to do. I'll try not to worry so much. I'll be good to my fellow eggs while also being good to myself. Here we go. Everybody missed me. I missed them too. Hello Meg, howdy Peg, hey Greg, greetings Greg, what's up Shell, aloha Shelly, hey oh Sheldon, hi Shelby, good day Egbert, what's happening Frank, howdy do other Frank. Sure, every once in a while somebody's still a little bit bad, but it's not like before. Here's what I realized. The other eggs aren't perfect, and I don't have to be either. I'm okay with that. Yep, the old carton is back together. We're a solid dozen again. It's good to be home.
Time for test. 1. Why did the egg save the cat? A. Because no one else would. B. Because he was bored. C. Because he was good. D. Because he was brave. The correct answer is C. Because he was good. 2. Which does not show that he was a good egg? A. He'll carry your groceries. B. He'll change your tires. C. He'll paint your house. D. He'll pick your plants. The correct answer is D. He'll pick your plants. 3. Which proves that the other 11 eggs were bad? A. They broke their stuff. B. They sleep on time. C. They don't cry for no reason. D. They never threw tantrums. The correct answer is A. They broke their stuff. 4. Why did he have cracks on his shell? A. For making everyone as good as him. B. He was always sad and lonely. C. He was always mad and angry. D. He was always bullied by the others. The correct answer is A. For making everyone as good as him. 5. Why did he leave? A. To teach the other eggs a lesson. B. To find a quiet place. C. To heal himself. D. To hide from the other eggs. The correct answer is C. To heal himself. 6. How did the eggs react when he said he'd leave? A. They didn't mind him. B. They blamed him. C. They convinced him not to leave. D. They were sad when he left. The correct answer is A. They didn't mind him. 7. How did he heal from the cracks? A. He hid in a cave. B. He blamed himself. C. He gave himself a me time. D. He punished himself. The correct answer is C. He gave himself a me time. 8. Which does not show a me time? A. I wrote in my journal. B. I even started painting. C. I tried to fix their bad behavior. D. I found moments to be quiet. The correct answer is C. I tried to fix their bad behavior. 9. Did the other eggs become good? A. No, they were still a bit bad. B. No, they even became worse. C. Yes, the good egg changed them. D. Yes, the good egg punished them. The correct answer is A. No, they were still a bit bad. 10. What did the egg realize? A. Everybody must be good. B. Nobody's perfect. C. He needs to be perfect always. D. He can change other people. The correct answer is B. Nobody's perfect.